Good morning, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. I want to give an introduction to the studies for May for the second year Bible students. We are currently in 1 Kings chapter 20. Chapter 20 is where we're going to be starting in May. And uh, chapter 20 is really, we could call 1 Kings, the book of 1 Kings, the life of Solomon and the life of Elijah. So in chapter 20, um, we have the Assyrian army comes to invade Israel and there's the de de deliverance under, um, under the prophet of the Lord and ah Ahab's victory and Ahab defeats the Syrian army. We have Naboth's vineyard and then we have the death of Ahab and Jehoshaphat becomes king of Judah and Ahaziah becomes king of Israel. Then we have second kings. Now second kings we could call division and destruction. It has 26 chapters. We don't know who the author is. But we have the ministry of Elijah. Elijah picks up where um, um, Elijah picks up the 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 situation in 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 this book of um, second kings um, very soon that is in just the second chapter Elijah is taken up into heaven and Elisha picks up his ministry and runs with it and so we have all of the life of Elisha explained in great detail we also have in this book um, the ongoing saga of the kings of Israel and of Judah so we have Jehu, Ahab Ahaz, um, um, Athaliah, uh, Je Jehoiada, uh, Joash, um, Amaziah, um, Jeroboam the second, Uzziah, Zechariah, Shalom, uh, Menahim, Pekhiah, and Pekah, Jotham, and Ahaz. So this is a, an ongoing saga. The 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 northern kingdom, Israel, um, have kings that are pretty well a bad lot. And this brings about the, the the destruction of the northern tribes, the ten northern tribes. And then we have their captivity and they're all taken away as slaves to Assyria. They, they're taken away from as slaves to Assyria and by and large they never return. That's the sad thing. And then we have the decline and the captivity of Judah beginning in chapter uh, well, chapter 18, really, to the end, and we have um, we have he the life of Hezekiah, king of Judah. Now, Hezekiah is an absolutely amazing, and notable success. He's a man of God who rescues the children of Israel from their enemies. However, eventually Hezekiah becomes sick and he dies, and um, and so we have a number of other kings that follow him. Um, Josiah for example is another notable example of a godly king and then we have Jehoaz and Jehoiakim and Jehoiachin and Zedekiah and Jerusalem and, um, and so on so this brings this particular book to an end and then we're going to be looking this month at, sec at First Chronicles First Chronicles we could call Israel's origins and the life of David. It's 29 chapters, probably written by Ezra in about 430 BC. So we have in the first part from chapter 1 right through to chapter um, 9, so nine chapters of genealogy. And of course, most Christians are going to find the, the genealogy is very difficult and boring and hard to read. But of course, there's an awful lot in there that's absolutely fascinating. And if you were a Jew, you'd find it riveting, be the most important part of the Bible for you. Then in chapter 10, we have Saul's death and we have from chapter 11 right through, we have a description of the life of David. And uh, David's life comes to an end in chapter 29. Then we're going to be then in Second Chronicles. We're going to be looking at the first 33 chapters of Chronicles. We could call Chronicles Solomon and Judah. It's 36 chapters written by Ezra probably in about 430 BC 
after the exile. This book records the reign of Solomon and other kings, good and bad, down the history until the exile in Babylon. The book parallels um, Kings 1 and 2 and the book describes the construction of the temple. So we have, first of all, we have Solomon's reign, which is from chapter 1 right through to chapter 9, which is Solomon's death. And then after his death, we have the division of the kingdom. We see the northern tribes revolt, a civil war is, present, is prevented. However, Rehoboam's sin and his punishment, and he dies. Then Abijah and Asa, and Asa's reforms, Jehoshaphat, uh, Micaiah, and so on, Ahab, Ahab and Jehu, Jehoshaphat, um, Ahaziah, um, and so right on down through all the kings, including a great deal of emphasis on Hezekiah and uh, on Josh, Josiah and his reforms. Um, and that brings us right the way down to the end of the studies in May. So in May, we're going to be looking at Josiah as pretty well the last person that we deal with. So looking forward to, to coming on the journey with you, going through this, these amazing Old Testament passages. We're looking forward to all of your contribution every day, and we're looking forward to God speaking to you through these Old, Old Testament books. They are so fascinating and so interesting. They are actually the history, the history of the children of Israel, but they can teach us so much, and we can learn so much about what, it, what, what God has been doing in the life of this nation. So God bless you and look forward to speaking to you online and uh, at the end of the month. Bye for now. God bless you.